Hi, it's Steve here from County Garage Say It. And today I'm going to show you around a vehicle that's just arrived in stock with us. And this being a top of the range Say It Ateca Experience Lux DSG Automatic. Now this one's finished in metallic silver and has the lovely silver and black 19 inch alloy wheels. Now the specification on this car is huge. And I'm going to give you a, a short walk around and hopefully give you an idea as to the the main features of this car. Now, starting at the back, I'm going to show you this one has rear parking sensors and a reversing camera. It also has the option of the power opening and closing tailgate. Now, it's only on this model that that is actually a feature. So, a huge great boot, which all of the uh, Seat Atecas have with split folding rear seats. And if I use the quick release, you can see that that drops the seat down from there. Now you have the little button up there to close the tailgate, or if you want to, it has the kick facility. So if you put your foot under the boot, under the bumper, it will close it for you. Coming around, let's show you in the back. And you've got lovely black quilted leather with the white stitching. So really really sort of eeks quality really electric windows all the way around you'd expect that and you have keyless entry and when we jump inside you can see that the leather is lovely and unmarked you've got full lumbar adjustment as well and if I jump in give you a, a walk through what's in here. So first things first, you've got the Sayat Media System, which is this lovely big clear display, which also has the virtual wave. So you can actually change the display on there just from popping your hand through, this, through the display. If I drop down into the corner, it splits the screen into a, into a third. So you get a bit of a, an overview of what's going on, navigation, media, and telephone. And if I push it again, it goes into the individual tabs. Now, they all have the built-in satellite navigation system, which is full postcode, full postcode relevant, as well as the running the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So depending on what your preference is, you can run either to suit you. If I just run down, you've also got here self-parking, which I say is a fabulous feature and one that we do use and does work the override for the start stop. This one also features a 360 degree camera as well as a front facing camera, reversing camera, and believe it or not, to try and keep the alloy wheels in good shape, you have cameras built in to each of your wing mirrors so you can actually see how close you are to the curve. So again, it's only on this particular model that you have this feature which is fabulous. Uh, carrying on, we drop down, you've got dual zone climate control, so one dial for the driver's side, one dial for the passenger side, heated front seats, bit of a must when you've got leather I think, and two USB-C's in here, so they future-proof this with the faster charging USB-C's as far as uh, plugging in devices, a wireless charger which hopefully you can see from there as well as the start-stop feature. Coming back, You've got the seven speed DSG gearbox with individual driving modes, so normal, slightly more an economical, or if I move it to the right, it goes into the sport setting as well. Moving up towards the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, you've got the override here that wakes up your cruise control. Now this one has adaptive cruise control, so rather than having just the regular version, it actually has the adaptive version. On the left-hand side, You've got your paddles for the gearbox, so um, and then on the uh, indicators on there. On the right-hand side, you've got your windscreen wipers, and this part of the steering wheel changes the display for what's going on in the centre. So you can actually set, if you want to, whether you have your lane assist on, your adaptive cruise control, your side assist. Now, that's a brilliant feature that, if I can show you on the camera, Hopefully you can see that amber light that's just started flashing. Turn it on and off again. So if you're going to indicate into oncoming traffic, 
that gives you a massive, massive uh, warning not to do it. And this also has the rear traffic alert as well. So if someone, you're reversing out of a tight parking space, someone comes behind you in the car park and uh, you're not necessarily paying 110% uh, attention, it would actually put the emergency brake on to stop you from uh, reversing into them. So now this particular car has only covered 7,700 miles and at the moment we're having to quote customers approximately six to nine to 12 months for delivery depending on the factory so uh, there's a fairly long waiting time at the moment for one of these new so we uh, we don't expect this one to hang around for too long especially if you don't want to wait for the quite a long time frame for a brand new version now this is available with the balance of the say it guarantee we can offer part exchange as well as financing options as well so if you have any questions on the car or you'd like to talk about putting a deal together please don't hesitate to get in touch until next time thanks for watching bye bye